Welcome back. This is the third video in EE4120, Industrial Controls and Automation. Um, I told you at the end of the last video that we were going to do a little programming at the beginning of the next video. However, I realized that some of you may not have much experience with Boolean logic. And the first thing I was going to do was write a program with some Boolean logic. So we're going to go over my handy tutorial um, that I wrote in PDF form and that should give us a good start. So what is Boolean logic? Boolean logic is something that can only be answered by two questions. Is this true or is this false? And Boolean logic is represented by two states. If it's true, it's a one, and if it's false, it's a zero. This is also known as a digital state. Computers work with digital information represented by zeros and ones. So how are we going to use it? We're going to use it for transferring some information and doing simple math. What you really need to understand is something called a normally open switch and a normally closed switch. A normally open switch looks like this. You'll notice that I called this state zero. This is its normal, normal state no information can get through this gap. However, when we press a button or when some action is taken, there is a connection made and that state switches to state one and it looks like this. Information can pass through this gate and go on to any other logic that we have. The next thing we have is called a normally closed switch. In state zero, a normally closed switch will always allow information to pass. So if there's information that needs to get through here, no problem at all. However, when we push a button or some other thing becomes true somewhere else, then this changes to an open state and no information can pass. So understanding the difference between these two is going to be vital um, for your programming here in this course. So how are we going to use these things? We're going to use them as gates. Something called an AND gate, an OR gate, a NOR gate, a NAND gate, an exclusive OR gate, and a NOT gate, which is really just a normally, open, or normally closed switch. So here's the AND gate. The AND gate's mo most basic of the gates. The question you are asking is, is A and B true. If they are both true, then your output over here becomes true. If either A or B is false, then no information can pass. That's why it's called an AND gate. A and B must be true. The next type of gate is called an OR gate. Now an OR gate will allow information to pass if either gate A or gate B is true. So we draw these in parallel and you'll see when we start doing our ladder logic that these are actually how we're going to program it. So if A or B is true then we have an OR gate. So now we have something called a NOR gate. So a NOR gate means not A and not B. So neither of these can be true for information to pass. I know that looks a little backwards. You would think that it would be in parallel, but it's in series. The next thing we have is a NAND gate. Um, if this is true and, or if this is not true and this is not true, then we get a NAND gate. The exclusive OR gate's a little different. So what you want is exclusively A to be true, but not B, or exclusively B to be true, but not A. And you'll see these become very useful in our more complex programming later on. So I hope that those kind of gave you some intuition on the Boolean logic. We are going to use all of those gates in our programming um, in industrial controls and understanding how to use them appropriately in each situation is going to give you a leg up on 
anybody else who is not quite as familiar with it. So I will see you next time when we do basic Boolean programming.